find out why our refrigerator has an IV drip today on Shea Bear 1000. Okay guys, as you can see we've got the drawers out of the vanity in here in the bathroom. Got everything out. Got a couple pans here, a couple wrenches, and our light. Now, whoops. Get this up here. And of course we have a towel. So now we've got this little drip here but I've already taken this out because I went to the hardware store to get another one this valve started leaking right here so I already taken like I said the valve out so I make sure I get the right one it's half inch right here so we're gonna put a new valve in it started leaking so in my intro you probably saw the IV drip from the uh, refrigerator well the refrigerator if you don't tap on it where the water comes out you gotta like tap it I'll show you here in a minute to keep it from um, leaking well the, this thing leaked in the off position the only way I could get this to stop leaking was to turn it all the way on and it stopped leaking well of course then the refrigerator started that dripping thing so that's why I've got the IV drip on the refrigerator. Now somebody's got that plumber's putty around here, which you shouldn't have to use. Um, but I'm going to cut this off, and I'm going to clean this up, and we'll, same way with this one up here, and we'll put the new fittings on it. So... I got this tubing cutter here. Try to do this without getting in your way too much. This is just copper line, so it should cut fairly easy. as it don't start threading itself on me we'll be all right I'm gonna speed this up for you Now, let's go get a piece of sandpaper, and we'll clean these two pieces up. What it is, this thing's kind of junk. It was 10 bucks. That's because I didn't want to pay the $20 for the one, the Lennox. Um, I don't have the rollers matched up. I, it just, you don't get nothing anymore. Um, but I needed it, and... That's what I got, so let me go get a piece of sandpaper. Now we're gonna get this all cleaned off.
just don't want any burrs on there you know, because you don't want the burrs to mar up your, uh, your new compression fish which is called a feral now it don't have to be perfect but you're going to want to get it make sure it just feels smooth if you see a little green on there from the copper it's all right don't be alarmed uh, but you definitely don't want to feel any ridges no burrs or anything like that that one's good top one up here make sure there's no paint on it where your ferrule is going to go and you'll be okay uh, something like that just make sure it's nice and clean you got this it should be a quarter turn uh, to turn it off to where, like this one here, you know, you, you got to turn it several turns. Um, this one should only be a quarter turn. I'll take this off and I'll show you the ferrule that I'm talking about. That's your ferrule right there and that's going to slide up over that but what I usually try to do if I can which does work most of the time is just put it on here just till it's in there like that don't tighten it yet because once you tighten it it's done just till it's like that and most of the time there you go you can just squeeze it on now the top one's got got a small one too and guess what it's too big we'll have to take it back I got the wrong size damn it half inch to three eighths and I got a half inch to five sixteenths okay I'll be back with you I gotta run to the stove but what I was talking about was this one there's off, that's it, and there's on, that's it. Okay, so, I'm going to take this back, and I'll be back with you guys with the right part. I grabbed the wrong one. Well, I grabbed it out of the container that said half inch to five sixteenths, but I grabbed it out of that bin, but it must have got put in the wrong bin, but it happens, oh well. Uh, let me go back and get the right one. And I'll be back with you guys. And the thing is, it's like a 20 minute drive from here, but it's only on the other side of town. So, see that says half inch by 3 eighths. I need half inch by 5 sixteenths. Alright guys, I'll be back. Okay guys, we're back. We've got this on here. Go ahead and put that on. Now, I'll show you a little hack here. If you want to know what size of tubing you got, you can always take a wrench and check it like that. Now this is quarter inch. I was saying five sixteenths, but I was thinking of brake line. But um, uh, the uh, or a brake bleeder for some reason. But see, that's how you can tell you're out. That's outside diameter. Some things like PVC pipe will have an inside diameter. But that's how you can tell, like on these, what size you have there. Okay, so, I've got that on there. Now, let's put this on here. Whoops. That wouldn't work, would it? This on here. you get it as straight as you can <sighs> let me 
make sure you get to start it on right see what this does is this crushes that down onto your onto your pipe so Monkey went to go get her tags for the truck, the sticker for the tags. They wouldn't give it to her because <laughs> we went through a toll without paying one time two dollars and seventy some cents. And uh, so she can't get her tags until we pay that. So that's kind of kind of messed up, but Two dollars and seventy some cents. They won't let her get her sticker for the trip. Again, don't don't over tighten this stuff. Okay. Now, I don't think this will open up big enough. Yeah, it will. There we go. Make sure it's all the way in as you can get it. Loosen that a little bit just to make sure. And you can feel it when it goes to tighten up. This is, like I said, this is just a quarter turn on and off. And we're going to go turn the water on and see if we have any leaks. Okay, that should do it. Now, let's wipe this off. Make sure there's no water coming down. All right, now let's go out and turn the water on. Now this is how we turn, here's our main. I'm gonna turn that on like that. Now we're gonna kick our pump on. This is switch for the pump. And let's go in the house and see if we got any leaks. I don't see any leaks from there. I thought I just saw a drip off of something. Right here it looked like. Now what I'll leave, what I'll do is I'm gonna leave this, I'll leave a, a pan or something under here all night long. That way if it does start dripping, it's not dripping all over everything that can't get wet. Because this stuff, if it gets wet, it's screwed. So feels like like I may need to re yeah this one's like it's leaking but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this under here just like that now let's kick the water on here that now let's go out here now see what this does I'll show you what it does when you push the water and you let go of it see that's why I got this on here okay so but if you go like that it'll stop do that a couple times and it'll quit there it goes now what's causing that is there's a valve in the back of these things in the back of there there's a valve that goes bad and it lets water run through when it's not when it does when it's not supposed to so 
I'll show you that valve. I don't know why I was zoomed in. Uh, now this valve, there's what it looks like. Only ours is bigger because it's got one for the ice and one for the water door. So it's, it's a lot bigger than this one, which I was going to use. It came off of that one. But I wasn't realizing that I need two of them. Or the one with the two. So that is that. This is what, what I made monkey for supper. Now tonight, stay tuned. I'm going to run the gauntlet, the hot sauce challenge. It goes up to a million Scoville units. That one is a million, which is the hot, the ghost pepper. So stay tuned for that. So anyway, that's that's how you how you change one of the valves. Make sure you get the right size. Like I said, five. I was saying five sixteenths, but I was thinking of a bleeder. That's usually what a bleeder is on a brake caliper so anyway that was quarter inch went back got it so we're good there uh oh and something else have you guys ever seen these before i'm sure you have but i never these bananas they're red bananas we're going to try that too we're going to try the banana thing um i know a bunch of you guys are going to go oh yeah we eat them all the time i never heard of them shea bears never heard of them i'm like what the hell so Anyway, they're supposed to be sweet and good, so we're going to try those. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.